Hi, welcome to Educator.com and another Adobe Illustrator CS6 lesson. And today we're talking about colors. So let's get right into it. Now with colors, uh, you want to be concerned about what mode you're working in. Now the default mode is CMYK, which is for print. Um, so you want to make sure uh, when you first open a file, uh, you get this dialog box, and here's where you can choose um, what mode. Here you see advanced color mode and 300 DPI. So if we click that. So now here's the difference between um, CMYK and RGB, which is the other color mode uh, that you have available here. RGB is for electronic transmission over monitors and CMYK is for print. All right, so you don't want to use any RGB colors if something is going to be printed. That would be bad news. Okay, so we're going to leave everything the way it is here, but if you wanted to design something for the web or something that's going to be broadcast on TV, choose RGB. You get a smaller file and um, the colors will be uh, match uh, precisely, which we'll get into more later. Okay, I uh, don't want a new file, so we'll just close that and get back to color. So here's RGB and CMYK. So let's talk about this. Let's do a little bit of color, um, things that just deal with color so you can have an understanding. I mean, you can find out more on Wikipedia about color, uh, but if you just listen to and follow the instructions I give you about RGB and CMYK, that will be all you need to know in order to um, uh, do any work in Illustrator. So RGB stands for red, green, and blue. RGB is light colors. All these colors together form white, um, and that's uh, for uh, monitors, for broadcast. That's why I kind of give it a digital effect when I put RGB there. Now CMYK uh, stands for cyan, magenta, yellow, and key. People think it's black, but no, otherwise if it was black, because all the other ones start with the first letter. So this one starts with K, and the K is for key. So this is the key plate that the cyan, magenta, and yellows are aligned to. So the key plate, they're keyed to uh, the black color. All right, so it's the key plate. That so when you're doing printing, you see registration marks. This is the, the plate everything is registered to. Okay, so that's a basic explanation. Again, if you want to find out more, look on Wikipedia, and you know, we're not going to go into color theory and all of that. This is just some basic information to you, for you to use, and now we're going to uh, get into um, the colors. So, let's go to our little handy check mark here. So, I talked about color modes, which are RGB, and, and uh, CMYK. And if I can get on the right layer, okay. So first thing checked off. Okay, so now let's talk about how to create and apply colors. Um, you can start with your stroke and fill box down here. Now what's ever on top, right now the fill is on top, that's the one that's color is gonna change. Uh, I can go to the to stroke box, click that, and that comes on top. And if I wanna change the positions, I hit that those two arrows and they'll go back and forth and change position. And if I hit the keyboard D, then I get black and white. Okay, now another way to do it is up here in the control panel, which um, you don't have to worry about what's on top because you can choose exactly what you want, fill the stroke. 